Dear Gemini Proposer, this is André Nicolas Chenet talking to you from Gemini Observatory. The view you are seeing right now is what you get the first time you open the phase one tool, namely PIT. This video will focus on the overview section, but before we start with that, uh, let me introduce you to the top menu bar, which contains some basic functions that can be useful for the preparation of your proposal. And please take note under edit of the undo and redo options that are available here. The other sections I want to let you know about is the problems section, which can be seen at first as a to-do list. So pointing to you what needs to be done for preparing a proposal. You will see as we enter information into PIT, uh, this list coming down. And if any problems are showing up, you will see warning messages and error messages also showing up, guiding us towards what needs to be done before we can submit the proposal. So now back to the overview section. The first uh, fields are pretty self-explanatory. So we first start with a title and then with an abstract underneath. The abstract cannot take any latex symbol and has a maximum of 200 words. Under the abstract box is the TAC category uh, selection. You need to select between three possible um, categories, so the solar system, the galactic or extragalactic category. Make sure to take the one that is relevant to your proposal as this will help us guiding uh, your proposal to the appropriate committee at the time of evaluation. Under that is the icon for selecting keywords. Keywords are useful for and knowing in advance what to expect in your proposal. You have to select at least one, but there's no maximum. You can select them all if it's relevant for your proposal. Um, you, can, you have to select them from that list. If you think it's a long list, you can always try with that box here to enter a word that should be into the keyword. And so you can select from the reduced list and click OK. Those two icons refer here to the core of your proposal, namely the science justification, technical justification, and other sections that need to be prepared outside PIT. When you click on this button, it brings up your favorite browser uh, on a page where you can download the templates. The templates can be in the form of a tech or a window uh, doc format. In any case, you need to transform those files into a PDF file before you can attach it to your proposal. Make sure to select the template that is relevant for the type of proposal you're preparing. And if you're using a tech file, make sure to use a style file that corresponds to uh, the, your tech file. Once your PDF file is ready, you can attach it to your proposal using this icon. So clicking on it will bring up this pop-up window from which you can select in your directories your PDF file. A red X is showing up, allowing you to erase your attachment. So you can bring up a new one or improve your attachment and attach it again. And to uh, finalize this video, uh, there is the section where you enter the list of the people in your science team, starting of course with the principal investigator to add information uh, about the PI. You double click on that line here, principal and investigator, bringing up a window into which you enter the information. So starting with the full name. And all the red boxes are mandatory. So an email. Phone number is not mandatory, but it can be useful if anyone has any question about your proposal and in the future, your program, would your proposal be accepted? You can type in your institution by hand or select it from our database uh, by clicking on the button named Choose. You have access to a database that contains most of the institutes from our partnership. And when you select one, and click OK, it fills all the fields automatically. And then you can click OK. To add more people into your team, you click on the green plus sign to add the COIs names and coordinates. The institution. And the email.
And there we go. At any time, it's recommended to save your work. So by clicking on File and Save, you can then save, and it's going to be under an XML format. And when you want to start over again, um, starting from where you left your work, if you have to interrupt your effort, you can always load it back by uh, opening it. I hope this video is useful to you, and please follow the other ones that are covering the other sections of BITS.